Hey everyone! So this video is going to be one of my first holiday Christmassy party looks. I want to do a couple of these looks so that when you have to go to holiday parties either with your family or your friends this season, you can make sure that you are total glam. So this is the first look and I actually wore this look to a cocktail party that the president of my college was hosting and I think that it turned out really really well so if you want to see how to get this look keep watching ho 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 and a cup of joe I don't know why I said that so anyway I'm doing this video as a voiceover as you can see I don't know whether you prefer the voiceovers or the talk throughs leave a comment down below which you prefer because I obviously want to do videos that you're going to want to watch so the first thing I'm doing is taking my e.l.f. mineral infused primer, just like I always do. I am in the market for new primers, so if you have a favorite, leave a comment below and let me know and I'll check it out. The next thing I'm going to do is take a wet beauty blender and this Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation in the shade Creamy Vanilla. I was skeptical of this foundation at first because it's way too yellow on my skin and I, I wanted to wink it work so badly because everyone was always raving about it. So I just kept trying and I figured out the secret to making it work is to just use a tiny bit of it. It is a very full coverage foundation and that's why it's called Conceal and Perfect. So my advice to you with this foundation would be to use a little and then go back and add more in the problem areas. The next trick for making this Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation work is to just add a lot of concealer. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer just like I always do and I'm going to go in with a second concealer after I do this as well. I'm taking a Nude Sticks Concealer Pencil in the shade Light 2 and I'm going to apply this to my nose as well as to my chin and under my under my nose and in my smile lines just to try to even out the yellowness of this Milani foundation a little bit more. Now I'm going to use my NYC Smooth Skin Powder with this brush and set my under eye concealer and then I'm going to use it to set my entire face. I'm using an e.l.f. Total Face Brush just to set my whole face and I'm doing this just so that the foundation stays throughout the entire night because we really want it to stay on if this is going to be a party makeup look. I know I use this e.l.f. contour kit all the time and I really am trying to branch out and use new products. I just love it so much, but if you have a suggestion for a contour shade that you think would work with really pale skin, please let me know down below and I will check it out because I do want to use new products and I want to show you guys how new products work. I just love this powder. Again, you're probably so tired of this Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. I'm using this with an e.l.f. contouring brush, and I think that this looks really, really nice with the contour applied right on top of it and swept up onto the temples in this look. Um, late at night at like a cocktail party, it looked really, really nice, and my skin looked really glowy. And if anything turned out harsher than you want it, just take a blending brush with no product on it and just blend out any of those harsh lines. This is e.l.f.'s Mellow Mauve Blush, and I know I used this in my last video as well. It's just so nice for winter because it's such a mellow, deep, mauve color that's perfect for winter. I have two blushes literally sitting in front of me that I can see from doing this that I haven't used yet. I will use them, I promise. I just love this color. Here's a new product, Yay Go Me. This is a wet and wild illuminating highlight. It has five different colors and you just swirl them around on your brush. This is a Luxie small contouring brush. And I'm gonna use this and just put the highlight on the tops of my cheeks and anywhere else that I wanna glow. So I did one of my eyes off camera and I also did my eyebrows off camera as promised just so you didn't have to watch me do that again. I'm going to take the Studio Makeup On The Go eyeshadow palette on a crease brush and just go into that middle light brown shade and I'm just going to put this all over my crease as my transition color. Um, if I do change my eyebrow routine at any time, I will include it in a video or I will update you, but since I do my eyebrows pretty much the same way every day, I just thought it would be boring to make you sit through that. Now I'm taking a flat e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go into this deep red color and I'm going to put this in the outer V's of my eyes. 
Just like I said last time, you really do want to take your time with blending. The longer you spend blending out the colors, the better it's going to look and the better gradient effect that you're going to get. So I am just putting this primarily on the outer Vs, but I'm sweeping it very lightly into the crease as well. Just to add depth and dimension, I'm taking the other side of that e.l.f. shadow brush and I'm going to dip it into this shimmery purple color. And I'm just going to pat that onto the outer V, not really blending at all, just sort of patting it on just to add another color and another layer of dimension. Time for the star of the show. I'm going to take a different e.l.f. shadow brush and I'm going to spritz it with a setting spray so that the brush is wet. And then I'm going to dip it into a very shimmery color. It's like a light rose gold color. And I'm going to apply this eyeshadow wet. Applying an eyeshadow wet will just make it more pigmented and will make it appear more intense than it would if it were dry. I'm just going to pat this eyeshadow onto my lid and try not to blend it into the outer V color, just patting it on in the places where I didn't add eyeshadow already. Now I'm taking a light brown color on a pencil brush and I'm going to smudge that onto my lower lash line. I'm going to use that deep red color that we used in the outer V just on the outer corner of my eyes to kind of smoke out the color. And then the same shimmery shade that we used on the top of the lid on the inner corner of the eye just so that everything matches. Now it's time for my favorite part, the inner corner highlight. I'm going to mix these two highlighting shades together and just apply it in the inner corner of my eyes. Last thing to do in this palette is a brow bone highlight. I'm just going to take this light shade that's almost the same color as my skin and just put it right under my brow. I'm going to take my NYX Gel Liner Tre Jolie eyeliner pen in the shade Pitch Black and I'm just going to use this to tight line. I was going to use false lashes, but because I don't wear them very often, I struggled with them on the other eye off camera for long enough that I decided it wasn't worth it. So instead, I'm just going to curl my lashes and then put mascara on. I promised I was going to use a new mascara, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm just going back to my all time favorite, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and I'm applying a nice thick coat of this to my lashes to make sure they're as voluminous as possible. I'm using this e.l.f. lip primer that was almost catastrophic in my last video. If you didn't see that, I will link it below. But I wanted to see how it looked with a color other than a nude lipstick on top of it. So I'm going to use this first. And it still looks terrifying. So let's apply a lipstick. I'm going to use this Ofra lip liner in the shade Silk just to try to refine my lips after that primer made them disappear. So to finish off lips, I'm going to use this Mana Kadar Beauty Simplified Lip Stain Primer in, I don't know, gloss. It's a bunch of different things all at once. And this is in the shade Lucky. And now it's just time for some setting spray. So this is obviously Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray, and we will be done. And that concludes this look. If you like this video or you like this look, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have a couple more holiday videos coming up, so please stay tuned and I will see you in my next video.